Hey, it's Kim here and welcome back to Oxen Free, where we have walked into some creepy caves, which is probably a terrible idea. 10 p.m. And we've entered the caves and they look beautiful. Oh, where did we get a light? Our phone. Jonas? Jonas. Jonas? Cray the caves are less creepy than I thought. How are we going to get up there? How do we do this? Climb the wall. I really didn't give us any instructions on actually how to play the game except for the dialogue choices which are assigned to the three buttons. Interest interesting to do that. How do we get down? Like that? I really like the way this looks though. And I feel like I'm starting to get a sense of the characters a little bit. I do feel thrown in the deep end with the dialogue because it's not doing that thing of, hey, we're introducing this character to you. They just know each other and you're kind of putting things together. Jonas, are you alright? Shout if you're like bleeding or something. Oh, there's lights going on over there. So then we're kind of putting things together from the choices that they give us in the dialogue. It's very interesting the way it's done. Because normally I feel like the game's trying to introduce the characters to me, even if they do know each other. This doesn't even feel like they're trying too hard. It just exists and that's how it is. I really like this area. It's so pretty. Oh, look at our, refre our reflection. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Because they live here. I'm very stuttery right now and I don't know why. What does that say? Graffiti. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. I don't know what that means. Are you okay? <sighs> Jesus, oh! You scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this there place obviously incredible? was. I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh it's beautiful. Oh. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kind of? I don't know where it's coming from. A Maybe radio. it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's going to eat out our stomachs. Ugh. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. Oh, it must gosh. just be further in. Let's sure. try and find it before we go back. I'm doing it because I want to see it as a player. Video. Might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Right. I don't know if we should be bringing out drugged out Ren, though. I don't care for Clarissa. We can bring Nona. She's all right. Put your light on, please. Oh, wow. It gets even more pretty. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating um, triangle light thing? Yes, I thought that yes. was for me. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those no. are, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a trick of light, Jonas. It looks like someone's science fair project just floating there. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think so? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. I'm nervous. Oh no. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Trying. Oh. 
Oh, it changed colors. Oh my god. What is the? This, what does that mean? Are you? Is this you? Are you? Look at the this? screen shake. Yes. Should Should I stop? No. This is awesome. Do I need to get it frequency better? Oh! I can't even, like, what is, what? I know, I, I know! What does this mean? Oh my gosh, here we go again. Oh no, it's in here somewhere. Come on. Oh, that sounds like something screaming. I'm trying to follow the vibrations on my phone. That is, this is not my phone. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Oh, made a triangle. Holy shit, what does that mean? No, we've made a portal. What the hell? Hello. Uh, hello. This <gasps> is insane. He talks like uh, Bumblebee. Are, are you? Who are you on the? Listen, Bobtail. Shavetail. They want to escape. Maybe? Uh, maybe? But I, I don't really... Bobtail. Leave, children. Bye. See you soon. Alex! What? What? Jonas! Oh no! Oh, can we breathe down here? Can we breathe? Are we underwater? Whales? Oh, that was weird. What in the Sam hell, as Joel would say. Alex. Alex. We're back. Oh, how the 11 p.m. An hour later, we're outside. Did you carry Alex? me? Are you okay? Yes, right. I think so. I think so. I don't know. God. Where are we? Are you okay? Yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's fence? an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't yeah. want to be the... Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really <laughs> prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. This all seems a little much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower. They're not keeping dinosaurs in here. <laughs> Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so don't touch. And Let's we both know electric fences somebody. don't no, I'm work way for Jurassic Park. There's got to be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm re. Pardon Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. I would. That was great. Oh, It's a bit windy up here. Last time we were in a tall tower, something bad happened to Emily. Oh gosh. I know they have to be tall, but it's scary. Also, I really hope this isn't a prank. It seems real. This seems real. They opened a portal to another dimension and spoke to something that wants to escape. I can see the cave, but 
Not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Same Probably the us. same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. <laughs> or are we in a different dimension? It's locked. Let me try. I can see. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. Are you picking it? <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. <laughs> Don't mind the easy way. Welcome. Wow. Machinery. How does this radio. thing... Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. <laughs> Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> <laughs> Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. You don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror <laughs> Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know. Should we eat accents? You don't say the R's like Mira and Squirrel. We need hey, help. We need help. We're stuck on Edwards Island in the communications tower. Uh, that sounds like T-Rex has got the radio. It's, um, dead. Yay! Did you get anyone? No. I don't think so. Oh, there's a phone! Hello? There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. What's it the note say? call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay, well, oh Jesus. my god. Hello? Hello? Alex? Whoa. Alex, is that you? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON future. Ren, are you alright? Like physically alright, because I know mentally you're no, probably. I'm not alright. I mean, do I sound alright or do I sound not alright? I probably sound not alright, right? <laughs> wait, I, wait. I, I think that's the other line. Why is Maybe there another like line? Like Watchmen or something? Or they do wait, like. Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm this is hectic. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. It's weird that he need a call. Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? Where are you? And I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why I. I don't remember, like, the last hour. Whoa. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? Uh, Clarissa, just... Yeah. You have a figure it out. Work it out for yourself. Ren needs my help. Ren's Wait, in the woods. Ren? Oh my gosh. Just pick me up, okay? Just come and pick me up. I'm really... Not great. Look, okay. Alex, just... Whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed Heating? these words. Heeding? Whatever you do, don't. <gasps> oh, of course. Dies, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, okay, Clarissa's Clarissa, still there. Still there? Oh my gosh. Nope, everyone's gone. She hung up too. Of course. Well, so I did switch try over. over to Milner first. See about that radio. I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. 
We can swing through the forest in Nabren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. I think we should get our friend people. first. You can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Also, he's my actual friend. Save Ren! Alright, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Righteous. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to read that map that came up quickly. After we get down from this very tall tower. Keep up, Jonas. This is all very scary, and I like to be in pairs. I guess, to start with, we'll just go to the communications through the electric fence, because that's the only way we can go at the moment. Where's the stick? Trust me. Beautiful. Harden Tower Epiphany Field. Okay, so we could go, but we need to go down, go to Epiphany Field, and then we need to go left. Ooh. What do you so, think is going on? Just curious, but um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Wait, um, <laughs> if you want to go get Ren, this is the wrong way, I think. This is the way to go to Fort Milner and Clarissa. The woods are the opposite way. Oh, uh, I didn't know. This isn't the way to the forest? No, no, this is Fort Milner, so this is just gonna go to Clarissa. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. Yeah, let's turn back. So how do I get to Ren? Oh, I do just walk left. I got confused because I did the shink, towie woods. That looks right. I really just need to get better at in-game map reading and life map reading. I um didn't realize oh my gosh, just it's how 12. much woods there were. This is like a like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type. Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. <laughs> but I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow. Yeah, and in this particular scenario, I'm the noble steed who will lead us merrily to Grandmother's house. And, and also, there's just one being... track. Being red. Right. You know, there's just one way to go. Really okay. It'll be fine. It reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. <laughs> My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess nice. he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know... Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. That's well, horrifying. To be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Yeah. And now this is happening. Whatever this is. Who's this thing tree? is so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. Wow. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well... I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really. No. Well, you're lame. Do we go to the bridge? We go to the bridge. I can't believe he's not impressed by that tree. Any massive tree is so cool. I don't like him either. He just doesn't have good interests if he's not into that. <laughs> I love this art. It's so pretty. Oh gosh, we're gonna get lost in these woods. There's so many different pathways. 
Also, what's with that triangle sign up there? Oh gosh. Oh um, no. Why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like, just like? It's a not a cable car. It's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry. Oh, that option's gone already. Do I want to go up now? Can I get up to him if I go up? Let's try it. I do want to also explore a little bit, but I'm a little nervous too, if we're being completely honest. Why is there a cabin in the woods with the lights on? That's horrifying. Why is... Oh, there's a little stack of rocks. Let's try the radio. That didn't come through clear though. Ooh! There we go. Ooh! What does that mean? Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are, and nothing else makes a difference. Bobby Dunbar. The triangle. Oh, scary. The triangle said he was Bob Tail. Bobby Dunbar. Is that the triangle? Is this the way up? Is this, is this the wrong? The right way? It says it's the. I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. It looks less than welcoming. I or agree. at least it doesn't look very inviting. Look, it's a little scary, but Ren needs us, so... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Alright, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. <laughs> Is that not the right way? We don't seem to be able to just go that way, so we will go back down. Let's quickly detour and look at the creepy cabin as well, because we can. Please be no one in there to murder us. Power transfer station 167. 167. Oh! Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it. Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Maybe. Or he's dead. Ooh. <sighs> Jonas. I'm just saying. Being terrorized maybe on an he's island dead. by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. Oh, that'll be great. One, six, seven. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. You're um, supervising. So, I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor <laughs> Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... That's very sweet. <sighs> really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. It's your barbecue. Hey, you didn't want to touch the electric fence. Let me touch this. Ooh. Uh, what did you nope. Flip? Cause it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... Uh, it's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? I don't know. It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? This is freaky. Yeah, a little. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. You want me to touch the radio? Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. Let's try the radio. Oh! 
Oh no, that was demon eyes. That's, that's, God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to- ah. oh! I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. <laughs> Nope, no. Why is this game so much freakier than I thought it was going to be? Let's just... Do we leave? Let's just leave. Where We saw demon eyes, so yeah, let's just go outside where that was. I also uh, saw a little pile of rocks. Was that there before? No. I don't think so. Creepy. I saw a little pile of rocks over here, so I want to go and listen to it. If I can. Let's listen to these rocks! Oh wait, is that just a path? Maybe it's not a pile. Ooh, no, it is a thing! shall discuss it prudently. Lest perchance God has sent him for this very thing. <sighs> so this is so freaky. Oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved since island's depressing enough. <laughs> She knows so much tourist information, and so does Ren. They'd be great tour guides. Let's have a look at this chair. Don't, don't sit in there. What if you Alex, disappeared? Are you all right? It's uh, just a chair, so. Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin. So, come on, let's go. I agree with him. <sighs> What a night, huh? It's real shit. <sighs> what a night. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> you said it first. I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. It's... Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. Hum kind of his fault. Barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. <laughs> Praise oh. the Lord. Yes. Go to the campground in this very scarily rickety thing. This is getting very creepy, very freaky, freakier and creepier than I at all expected of this game. I don't know what I expected of this game. Not something that was going to scare me, that's for sure. Maybe just a mystery for us to solve and feeling a little bit dramatic or something. But it's very interesting. I'm so into it, even though it does scare me. I'm starting to get used to how the dialogue works. I really like the art style. I am enjoying this a lot for only being a very small amount into this game. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one. If you'd like to hang out some more, hit subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye!